First of all, Bill, were there any signs leading up to the firing of Michael Malone that there were problems with the Kings? Well, Coach, I don't think it was a secret that there was some tension between Malone and ownership and GM Pete D'Alessandro in style of play. However, I don't think anyone thought it was job-threatening. But if you look in retrospect, his comments after the loss to Toronto last week, where he said, you can throw analytics out the window. If you don't defend in the NBA, you're not going to win. And, of course, Dean Oliver, hired by Pete D'Alessandro, an analytics guru, uh, certainly on staff and an integral part of the Sacramento turnaround, he he also indicated that people have been questioning our offense, but we put up 109 on Toronto, 52% from the field. So that wasn't the issue. So underlying this, there were indications that things were not all right between Malone and Delisandro. And of course, just as the Kings shocked the NBA with a 9-6 and six start in a positive sense, this one definitely sending a different type of shockwave throughout the league. Coach, that's another huge question mark. When pressed on this issue, Pete Delisandro said that Tyrone Corbin is the Kings coach. They will give him all the resources necessary to be successful. But when pressed, he would not commit to Corbin having the job throughout the remainder of the season. Of course, names like George Carl, Mark Jackson, Vinny Del Negro, even Chris Mullen, who's a special advisor to Vivek Ranadive, have been has been rumored as potential successors to Malone. That remains another question mark for Sacramento as to what they're going to do. But for now, it's Tyrone Corbin. But again, no indication that this is a long-term situation for Corbin, even through the rest of this campaign. Marcus, were you surprised by the timing of the decision? Man, who wasn't? Uh, I think this surprised everybody. DeMarcus Cousins, a beast, 39 and 20 off the glass in this one. Why was he so good tonight? What was working for him? Well, you know, because everything was working for him tonight, whether it was Ashik Davis, a combination of Pelicans, they just couldn't stop him. After a win recently over Philadelphia, George Carl said he's one of the best bigs he's ever seen play the game. He's second in the NBA with 44 double-doubles, and he's missed 16 games. Prodigious production continues from Cousins. He's acclimating to Carl's up-tempo system. A couple of Kentucky guys going at it this night. It was DeMarcus Cousins getting the better of Anthony Davis, a guy who many think could be an MVP candidate, might get a couple of votes along the way. But there's another guy that people are talking about on the Kings roster. I've always known him as Nick Stauskas. Get, what is the story behind Sauce Castillo? Can you fill me in on this, Bill? Well, you know, because against Philadelphia, there was a closed captioning error that translated Nick Stauskas to Sauce Castillo. Now, I grew up in a neighborhood in New Jersey with Guy Tabasco and Peter Dorito and the famous <laughs> comedian Joey Coco Diaz, but no Sauce Castillo. But there's one in California's <laughs> capital city. And believe me, for a rookie, this is going to stick. Well, Rudy, you guys have played with a lot of heart and determination.